our last if function is let me let me do something like this uh, app dot root let's just specify a root of our function which is something like this predict underscore api yes and the name of our function is def predict underscore api yes <coughs> then after we need to write data is equal to request dot get underscore json bracket false is equal to true yes uh, prediction prediction is equal to model dot predict bracket square bracket no 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 control z bracket square bracket oops square bracket mp numpy array bracket rest bracket data dot vars let me increase the fonts hope you can you can see well right now okay is equal to vars then it should be something like this one two actually yes <coughs> then after output is equal to prediction at zero and return re return json bracket output output yes this is our last function then if name is equal to main main then up dot run run debug is equal to true yeah actually this is what we're supposed to do so here in a prediction we need to add it should be np dot round it means that is is like numpy round function yeah so add np dot round yes and here it should be prediction prediction something like this prediction text right so far so nice and uh, this is actually the end of our tutorial now uh, uh, just to put a short summary of what we have covered uh, first we uh, we we took uh, index the I mean our template then after we link the have we linked this uh, we are yet to link yeah 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 we, we are done we linked this into uh, we linked the our uh, Frask app with the static files we then specified um, our prediction this is the predict I mean the action of the form which is for predicting uh, then after here is to specify the text then after we moved in creating three python frask files which are specific for receiving user input loading mode and making prediction and 
displaying the output to the user. So, thanks for watching. This is an end of our tutorial. Do not miss our last tutorial where we will test our deployed model and make a short conclusion. So, thanks for watching. Do not forget to like, put comment, and subscribe for next video update. Goodbye. See you in the next video.